I'm Pat Gunn, and this is my Let's Play of Skyrim Dragonborn. And I am in a crop. Uh, there. I'm in Apocrypha, and I appear to be at the end of a corridor. Let's see. This is interesting. Looks like this is maybe a big arena of some sort. Let's give my Let's call up some um, Dramora Lords and see what I have to do to... Here's a door. Can't open it. There's another door. Probably can't open it either. Okay, well, let's just keep on heading forward then. Whoa! That is... interesting. Not, and not all the bits of the floor are moving at the same time. This is probably a tentacle whippy thing. Whoa, okay. I do not like these lurker things, but I think provided that I keep my distance, I should be able to hopefully take care of it. Let's see if I can... Gotcha. Sweet. But he did manage to wipe out both my Dramora, so... Huh, niche leather... Apparently leather. Am I gonna get a tentacle here? No. Okay, well that's fine. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is one of those ball things, but it's not seeming to do anything. I'm tempted to hop in. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it. Because I know that diving into the pools outside killed me, but... No, apparently I can walk on these. Okay, interesting. This will ouvrir les portes. Now this thing is going to switch over to shifting to the right, maybe. Yes. And I'll probably get another one of those guys over there. Well, I will hold back for just a sec to give my magic a time to reach in. And now, here we go, another one. Okay, so let's... We're definitely going to try and fire over the heads of my Dremora Lords so that we don't kill them. Uh, where'd my other Dremora Lord go? Okay, this is not good. Okay. Get another one of these guys in here. Wonder if I can safely run by this guy. I'll try. What? No, no, what are you doing? Oh, well, I guess it wants to give me access to this. Well, that works for me. So I will let my Dramora... Ooh, am I surrounded by... Yeah, I seem to be. Oh, and those guys really do some pretty serious damage. But, let's see if I can at least summon myself a sword. And I'll close my wounds with my left hand here. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I'm doing okay. 
So, what can I do with the book? I can... Bardic Knowledge, Improved Stamina Regeneration, which is pretty stupid. Secret Servant. Uh, maybe kind of useful, not super useful. Yeah, this sounds good. Not sure how that works, but in any case, I guess I'm done here. And I guess I get uh, get to keep these books, so presumably I could pop down and change any of these special powers whenever I needed to. And maybe being able to summon a Dremora merchant will mean that I'll be slightly more willing to pick uh, pick up heavy, valuable stuff. Anyhow, we're back where we found the book. And uh, I'm not sure if this is taking me outside or back into another dungeon. It didn't say back to Skyrim or to Solstheim. This might take me to a passage that's on the other side of, um, of that place that we saw coming in that I was pretty sure would have like one of these chain door things. Yeah, this is looking pretty much like that. Slide in, slide down, never mind the extraordinarily expensive equipment you would need to, to use to slide a heavy slab of uh, I'm getting a phone call right now, and you might be hearing a little bit of the sound from that, but I'll be uh, I'll be looking into that a little bit later, since I don't really want to interrupt this video. Okay, I don't know what this thing is. It's kind of creepy. It looks kind of like a brain that's covered by a shell and with grippy tentacles. Okay, so this did take me outside. And where am I? I am Ben Congerike. Sounds like almost like somebody won a contest to have their name embedded in the game. So if I just head east, I'll spot some kind of treasury thing and then I'll be able to head southeast to see the Skull Village. So let's let's do that. Seems like a sensible way to go. Uh, that's a bit too much of a fall for me to want to brave. Uh, this should probably be okay. Oof. I don't really know what that um, quest marker up there that looks kind of like something intimate is. Maybe I'll swing by and see what it is on the way over to the village. Well, actually, it's really kind of near. Uh, oh, but it's down there. Okay, so yeah, I don't need to head all the way. Oh, something's down there. What is it? Is it? Oh, it's a troll. It should be easy enough to kill it from up here, I think. Probably. Well, if it doesn't end up running away, which it is going to do. Seems a little bit weird to doesn't seem to have nearly as much fur as it should have if it's going to be comfortable in this kind of weather. And I guess this is also showing that North Solstheim is very, very Skyrim-y. Which would make sense. It's closer to that cold northern sea. 
Um, it has horkers. In case I will leave the horkers alone and hopefully they will mostly leave me alone. And I'm not sure if the place up here is an indoor or an outdoor place. I think it's probably an outdoor place because I'm getting the pointer arrow rather than... Oh dear. So it looks like I'm facing bandit type critters. Fortunately, bandits can't can't do a lot to you if you're in the water. So he, is he holding his hands like he's has a sword, but he doesn't actually have one? Yeah, yeah, he didn't actually bring his sword out. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, it's generally wise to unsheath your sword if you're going to be doing sword maneuvers. I mean, not that I really know, because... Oh, pirate captain. Okay, so these are pirates. And war column. Well, they certainly picked a, a decent place to, uh, to get wealth, because they don't actually need to do much pirating, presumably. Rotate this to the left, maybe. Further to the right, further to the left. Okay, maybe a little bit more. A little bit less. Okay, that's right. Death Brand Helm. Okay, well, that's kind of a neat uh, hat. Nordic Great Sword. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's that great of. Yeah, another set of this really cool gear. Yeah, really, really cool and really heavy, unfortunately. And is there anything else that we need around here? Um. You apparently can't duck and go through a, uh, a tent, which I suppose kind of makes sense. So these guys, apparently, they must have hijacked a boat. Belonging to the East Empire Company, although I don't see the boat. So maybe they brought it from wherever it was hijacked over to here. Okay, so I guess that's it there. Let's go see what this uh, thing up above that looks like an intimate item is. I guess I'm going to be climbing up the hill. I'm not sure if, if them choosing that map icon for it is a means of getting things past the radar or if it's uh, just an honest not thinking a lot about what <laughs> about what uh, certain things look like. Windstone. Okay, so who are you that they have forgotten? Here do we toil. Huh. Well. Faintly creeped out. It does seem kind of culty, but there's not a lot I can do here. So let's move on. Oh, and south of here is another one of those things. Okay, so we'll go to the one that's south of here, and then we're going to head over to the town. Just because I'm guessing that these things are going to be important somehow. I'm 
I'm not quite sure how, but I don't really want to be going out looking for them uh, later when I already know where one is. So I'm going to keep on summoning these guys. Oh, one of those cool tea guys. And, oh, a talking reclaim. Okay, well, I don't know what their cult is all about, but I will not stick around to find out. Actually, I mean, maybe they, they're just here randomly. So, this seems like a little trading post or village or something. Mead Hall. Okay. Uh, how do I get in? This looks like an entrance. I guess it's not an entrance, though. Uh, the entrance is over here. Oh, and these are weaklings. You follow me. Okay. Or oh, it wants me to go inside with him. And it looks like there are a bunch of reeklings here. Okay, uh, apparently I'm on a quest for these little goblin-y things. Why not? And yeah, I suppose I should also look at this death brand treasure map thing. Or maybe that's not it. I guess that's a quest that I'll probably look at much later. So what am I doing here? Up here, oh, Bilgamuk is something over there. Well, let's go say hi to him, and because he's not really all that far away. Give him some meat. I hope I have some meat. Oh, it's one of their boar things. Oh, I don't actually have any meat for him. Well, sorry dude. I don't have any meat. Maybe I should have killed one of those horkers after all. I'll do that when it's next convenient. Let's. Oh, this is a bit of a drop. Guess I can probably survive it if I'm careful. Scal Village. I don't know what a scal is, but. Whoa, that is. Okay, now I have some horker meat. doing something with the sky. Well, let's see if anything's going on in their hall. Oh, 
That's a pretty nice dwelling. Looks pretty cozy. And it has a back door. Well, I suppose if you're going to live in a place like this, that would probably be the kind of home that would make it worthwhile. Still doing that ritual thing. Are all the houses locked? What time is it? It's one. F okay, so it's still daytime. So if there are people here, here's somebody. Oh. Okay. I guess everywhere is locked. Okay, well, this is turning out to be a highly boring village. So I guess I'll just let them be. Not sure what... what is supposed to be done here, if anything. But I guess that's one of the things that Sky, uh, Skyrim and many games don't have. They have that kind of storytelling perspective where they don't have areas that are not important to any of your potential quests. And I always found that to be kind of unrealistic and maybe even a little bit irritating. Okay. Now is he going to follow me? Yeah, he's going to follow me. So I just need to take him back over to this cottage place. Are you still coming along? Yeah. I don't know if I need to take him inside or not. Maybe I do. Oh. Well, he's still outside. Oh, there he is. Well, he came in and left. What more do you need? I just found him. Okay, now you're... Come on. Come on. No, no, don't go outside. doing that. And I'm not sure if I can push him inside or anything like that, but why is there a pointer over here? What? What is... Oh, oh, does he need to be led to the cage? Okay. Well, that's irritating, but Come on. Okay, now he is apparently going to stay in the cage. It was not a very well explained quest, but I suppose that's what happens when you when you're doing a a blind uh, playthrough. Cave crow. Well, do I have any of that? Uh, yes, I have 28 of it. Well, that's enough. OK. 
Okay, well apparently And the game didn't register that I f finished bringing the scathe crow. Or something. <coughs> but then Skyrim has never been known, or really any Bethesda games, they're pretty bu uh, buggy. Okay, so let's get ready to some Dramora. So what are we doing, dude? We are waiting for someone, maybe? Where are the Nords? So, are we heading down to the village to fight Nord? Can't believe that I've joined some goblins. And the Nords, yeah, they're up ahead in the village. Wait, where do you guys go? Okay, you're over there. Let's get some more of these guys out. And I'm fighting named Nords. Well, that's great. I know that my Dremor Lords, they uh, they won't hit my allies. So my main worry here is that I'll end up killing my little buddies. The problem with a lot of this is that if you choose a side, then from then on there will be lasting effects. And I hope that having killed those uh, those folk won't be a bad set of lasting effects. But it is a game, and the next time I play through, I could do it differently. Okay. Oh. So where'd the chief go? He is... Okay, so apparently he wants to fight me now. But he will not beat My Dramora. Okay, what now? Uh, you're still alive. Oh, well, what's going on? I guess the game seems kind of buggy. Not sure what I'm meant to do. Maybe having Dramora is something.
Was it supposed to be hand-to-hand -hand combat or something? Uh, I don't know. Oh well, I guess I'll just consider it glitched and move on. So there's nothing else I urgently need to do in this area, I don't think. Um, I guess up ahead there are some markers on the other side here. See if I can safely swim over there. Well, that clarifies that that weird kind of current isn't uh, isn't something that's particularly deadly. Horker Island. Interesting. We have a boat and another boat. Is there anything on Horker Island? Looks like there's some ebony, which is nice, and a treasure chest, and something up ahead. Uh, this is a master level treasure chest. So it might take some effort to unlock it. Let's rotate to the left. Okay, not quite that far, but but somewhere up further up on these rocks is oh or not further up. Quick silver is here and there's another barrel. I'm not really interested in exploring the barrels right now. Uh, although there's some reavers in here which is prom makes promise of being interesting. I don't have a particular reason to be in there right now. I'll just keep on moving on. Can keep on learning places that I might want to return to at some point. Oh, Nern Route. So apparently Nern in the Elder Scrolls universe, if I remember uh, in Elder Scrolls uh, in universe book that I read some time back correctly, Nern is some type of magical, whoa. Magical substance that makes up the universe or something like that. And so Nern Root was named after that because it seems to be such a magical plant of some kind. I mean, it's somehow all that magical. Uh, okay, there's a cave, which is probably full of more weaklings. Uh, is there anything else interesting around here? Not that I can spot. And the chief is now back inside that 
I guess it might make sense then for me to head to the Temple of Mirak sometime soon. What is this over here? Tell Mithrin. Oh, don't know what that is, but sounds more like an instruction than a place. I'm pretty disappointed that that quest to defeat the Reekling Chief seemed to be not working right. Unless... maybe I'm supposed to lose to him? I mean, I guess I could try that. Okay, so from here I want to head just about due east. be over to that Archie thing. Temple of Mirak. Okay, so let's see. And the world remembers. Not sure. sure who's speaking. Uh, but there is somebody up there that I can talk to. Oh, and here's a reaver that's not hostile to me. Freya, I don't. Well, Freya is ahead and a little bit to the left of me. Dragon priest turned against them. So are these Nords? Maybe these are Nords. Okay, I'm not sure what that sound is. Oh, who's who's attacking me? At least this is definitely yeah, windy kind of path downwards. Temple of Mirak or Mirak. I guess it's probably Mirak. Playing it without without the audio does limit um, one's ability to pronounce these things correctly, but Kind of supplies I need. Well, I guess it can't hurt to. Grab 
keep some of this stuff. And that's the kind of supply that never hurts. At this point, it doesn't help a lot either. Oh, people being cooked. How pleasant. Okay, so where am I going now? Did I get turned around? Oh yeah, so I want to turn right and then right. And away we go. Okay, this is obviously a trap. But they're not going to survive very long when there's two Tremora going at them. Yeah, the rubs are decently magical, but it's not really worth picking up. Okay, lots of traps. Got it. Fortunately, I have that feat that means that you don't trigger traps if you're uh, if you step on them, which should be pretty handy here. Lots of decent potions. And she's providing backstories. So why, yeah, she's basically wondering why there are people in cages. I guess maybe I'll, I'll actually try to uh, just rush through and ignore the fights. Hmm. So there's a brightly lit path and a dimly lit path. Well, let's keep going. It would be pretty great, though, if the game were designed in a way where you could specify that there are some things that you never want to pick up, and it would either destroy them or just refuse to pick them up if you tried. Okay, well, a spinny blade thing, but... Pushing through and whoa. Okay, so she doesn't want to come in here because the spinny blades are kind of intimidating. Ooh. And I think I will just mus muscle through and use enough potions. Did that actually stop the... Looks like it did. That stopped the spinny blades. Unfortunately, she seems to still be in a fight. Maybe. Nice. And 
And I wonder where Freya went. Whoa. Okay. So, yeah, let's see if we can make it through without triggering... these things again. Cool. So we're good. And moving right along. Well, I guess there is stuff back here. This looks like Not sure if this is meant as an escape hatch or something else. Or maybe just side content. In case you didn't have 500,000 soul gems already. Move, move, move. Oh, come on. Well then, move, let me through, let me through. How do I open that? Oh, well, there's a dead Death Lord. And sweet. Or, oh, okay. So a bunch of foes right up next to each other, but... Is that a Thalmor? Why would the Thalmor be here? that fall will kill that guy. I guess this is the way onward. So one of the things that's interesting about Skyrim is that you could probably do a speed run pretty well up until the point where enemies start to one hit you and then it would get pretty dicey. Because you would have a tough time developing combat skills, particularly sneak, uh, anywhere quickly. I guess you could really abuse the learning system as much as you could. You might not do too bad, but but yeah, if you just run through the areas of the game, most of the time there's nothing that, that would stop you. Okay, that floor looks kind of shaky. Skeletons never really have any appreciable ability to take damage. Whoa, okay, that is wild. Nice. Well, mostly nice. Still are all these log traps that both her and my Dramora Lord seem to like triggering. Th yeah, this doesn't feel like a Skyrim dungeon, which is a major accomplishment because I, I was a little bit worried when I got this uh, when I got this head on that it would just be basically more of the same. And Skyrim is great in the sense that it has a lot of content that can vary from uh, game to game. But it does mean that you end up experiencing everything that the game can give you pretty early. 
and once you're done with that, there's not a lot left to do. So I ideally want to be passing through this area long after my buddies do so that I'm not hit by their bungling, uh, stomping on the uh, triggers. Okay. It is, it is an impressively deep temple at this point, and this looks like it might be the end because that looks like a very impressive to me thing. Or not. Well, there's a word wall. Let's see what word I get. Strength dragon aspect. Um, well, let's get another one of these guys here. And the gatekeeper has a Temple of Mirak key. Well, that should be useful, hopefully. Uh, is this, yeah, I guess that's where we're going. And I suppose that might be useful for serving staff if they wanted to see when people are ready for their next bit of uh, meal, but not seeing a lot of other obvious use for that kind of spying on the kitchen table thing. A little bit of extra light would probably be helpful. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, this this expansion is just really piling on the alchemy ingredients. Is there anything useful in here? I guess I can hop in the fire, but it doesn't really do anything all that interesting. Uh, yeah, hmm. I wonder if, uh, if conjurers could use Use their spells to uh, to summon uh, Tremor lords to cook for them or something. Would at least be amusing. Hmm. Uh, I hope I don't need to pick up a lot of this stuff to do useful things. I could certainly move all this stuff around, but that's kind of a pain, and there's nothing to really hint that that's the right thing to do. Or 
I could cook something or um, hmm. well Okay, maybe there's not anything actually back here. Test maybe through here? No. Oh, I'm not sure what that does. Secret passage in the dining area. Oh, well, that's where she is. So, where is it? Is it ahead? Yeah, I guess it's up ahead. something now. I would like some more bodyguard support here. Bunch of ruined books. Hmm. see what else if I go almost straight I guess this is an area where I haven't explored yet Let's see what this does that opens the stairway downward okay that works for me and another stairway downward um, yeah I don't really like these opening things, but they they remind me of the um, chests that we saw in um, Apocrypha. Okay, door chest. What are, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're actually out of time. So, I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been my playthrough of Skyrim Dragonborn. I'll see you in the next episode, which will probably 